Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to send your crypto, in this case, Bitcoin, in my example, from your Coinbase app on over to your Ledger Nano X. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started and let's make it happen. Go ahead and pull up your Coinbase app and down at the bottom in the middle there, you're gonna see the, the blue icon with the two arrows. Go ahead and click that for buying and selling, converting, those type of actions. We're gonna click on buy. You're gonna see at the top, Bitcoin. There are other, other coins here that you can purchase, but for the example, I'm just doing Bitcoin. I'm then going to do $50 worth um, to show you uh, how to do this here. You can do a one-time purchase, by the way, and if you wanna change that to every week, every month, uh, you have options here to do that. Like I said, for the example, I'm just doing a one-time purchase. So then we're gonna do a preview buy. From here, you can see the amount in uh, Bitcoin. You can see what the price is currently for Bitcoin. Also the payment method, the purchase price, the Coinbase fee, and then of course the total. So it adds up to that 50 that I'm, I'm looking to purchase. From there, you're going to select buy now. And there it says my order was submitted. So now I have it in my account to trade. You can see it right there. Once you're at the home screen, go ahead and click on portfolio. You can then see your portfolio uh, updated in terms of how much you have in your account. Click on a Bitcoin. From here, you're gonna click on your BTC wallet. And then the top right there, you see like a paper airplane icon. Go ahead and click on that if you wanna send this out to your Nano X. From here, click on max amount if you wanna send the full amount of your BTC. You don't have to, but in this, this instance, I'm going to because I have such a small amount on my Coinbase app currently. And you're gonna see up here the two field. This is where you put your receiving address. Always make sure that you use the correct address for the type of crypto you're sending. So if you're sending BTC, Bitcoin, do not use, for example, an Ethereum address because you will instantly lose that crypto. Make sure you use the correct address for the correct crypto that you are sending and receiving, okay? So in here, I'm gonna need to jump over to my Nano X and grab that uh, receiving address so that I can send this crypto. Go ahead and pull up your Ledger Live. Come on down to Receive. And then once there, you're gonna select the correct uh, account that you want to send your crypto to. In this case, we're using Bitcoin. So I've already set up my Bitcoin uh, account on my Ledger Live, or on my Ledger, I should say, for the Nano X. Click Continue. Then it says I need to uh, now it's asking me to open my Bitcoin app on my ledger, so I need to put in my PIN number and then open up that app. And then go ahead and open the Bitcoin app. And now it shows me that my application is ready. So as you can see from here, you can see your receiving address. You can use the QR code right up here. On this section, it will pull up that QR code and you'll see also see that receiving address or you can copy and paste this receiving address um, and then paste it into your Coinbase app. One other thing you can do is you can verify the address on your Nano X to make sure that is the same that you're seeing on your Ledger Live. Go ahead and do that and then come on over to the Coinbase app and go ahead and send that Bitcoin. Jumping back into the Coinbase app, go ahead and paste that receiving address into the to field. Go ahead and click preview send. From this screen, you're going to see the amount that you're sending, the address you're sending to. Um, there's no Coinbase fee, but there is a network fee to send the Bitcoin across the network. As I tell people every single time, always double and triple check your address to make sure you are sending to the correct receiving address. Make sure it is the same type of cryptocurrency, but also that the address is correct and you did not copy and paste a partial aspect of that address because once you send it, 
You cannot reverse that transaction. So this is not like a bank, like a standard bank where you can say, hey, I sent it to the wrong uh, account. Can you switch it over for me or can you cancel that request and, and let's do another transaction? You cannot do that on the blockchain. So make sure that you send to the correct address, double and triple check, and then move on forward. From here, you're gonna select send now. And then you're going to receive a seven digit code in a text message. Click submit. Great, so then it sent it successfully, click done. Now let's hop on over to make sure that it was confirmed on the blockchain over on Ledger Live. Once you open up Ledger Live, either on your phone or on uh, the app on your laptop or desktop, you can scroll or go to portfolio, then scrolling down to latest operations, and you can see the actual transaction right here, when it was received, what account it went to, the address, and then of course, what that amount was in BTC, as well as the price at the point of the transaction. And that's how you can confirm that it was sent properly and it is in your account on your Nano X. And that is how you send your Bitcoin in this example or any other cryptocurrency you may have from Coinbase on over to your Ledger Nano X. If you guys like this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content coming your way. I would love to hear what you have to say about this video and other videos that I'm producing for you. Comment below, say hi, or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be more than happy to respond as best I can. I don't know everything, but I can do my best to respond to you and help you with any questions you may have. Well, guys, have a fantastic day. Hope this was helpful to you. Um, enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the day you've been blessed with and have a great day.